Hello, Dennis Sellers, your Christmas elf with Maximum News On Demand here with news from the world of all things Apple for Wednesday, December the 5th, 2007. It's certainly shaping up like it's going to be an interesting Macworld Conference and Expo in San Francisco next month. Uh, there's widespread rumors that Apple will uh, unveil an ultra-portable laptop, or at least one smaller than any of its current uh, laptop offerings. And now Intel has announced today it will launch its new uh, 45 uh, nanometer uh, Penryn based Core 2 Duo and Core 2 Extreme uh, processors uh, in early January, January the 6th to be exact. That means the, uh, that the processor will be officially launched eight days before the launch of Matt World Conference Next Expo in San Francisco. So uh, it's possible we could see at least the announcement of upcoming Macs uh, using the new processor. It, the processor will be more powerful, uh, faster, and uh, less power, uh, uh, can consume less power than the current line of Core 2 Duo processors. Uh, the trade publication Daily Tech says that uh, the announcement today means it's highly plausible that the chips could make their first appearance at CES 2008, which is on January the 7th, or at Matt World 2008, with in either Apple's all rumored uh, tablet, which I doubt will see the day, day, revamped laptop, uh, revamped MacBook Pros, MacBooks, or refreshed iMac desktops. Meanwhile, in our iMac, iPhone news of the day, uh, in France, Orange says it sold more than 30,000 iPhones in five days after the, five, after the device went on sale on November the, the 28th. Meanwhile, uh, this makes the company's goal pretty achievable. They say they want to sell 50 to 100,000 iPhones uh, in the first month that they're on sale and 400,000 to 500,000 uh, in 2008. You can read more about these and other uh, articles at MaximumNews.com. Uh, meanwhile, that's all for our Maximum News On Demand stories today. Come back tomorrow and we'll have more news from the world of all things Apple. Until then, be good.